Hi students, welcome to another video of Smartly Learn. In this video too, we will continue to see about chain rule. Let's take the input function e power x cube minus 2x squared. In this function, treat x cube minus 2x squared as a variable t. So this makes the input function look like e power t. So a differentiation of in this input function will be e power t, which is e power x cube minus 2x squared into d by dx of x cube minus 2x squared. So this is the differentiation of t part in the chain rule. So let's do the differentiation and multiply and write the answer. So e power x cube minus 2x squared into differentiation of x cube is 3x squared and differentiation of 2x squared is 4x. So now I can write this as a final answer. So 3x squared minus 4x into e power x cube minus 2x squared. This is the final answer after applying the chain rule. You can also do a simple factorization by taking the x common outside this function. But as such, this could answer could be well enough. Now let's take another input function to see how this works. The input function is 2 by 3 sine power 6x. Now a differentiation of is a constant. When multiplied to a function, you simply take the constant outside. So now what is it that you are trying to do? Take 2 by 3 outside and we are supposed to differentiate sine power 6x. Now treat sine x as a t. So this input now looks like t power x and we know how to differentiate that. So 2 by 3 into 6 into sine power 5x because t power x is on differentiation 6 t power 5. So the equivalent of which we have written here into differentiation of sin x that is cos x. Now see I can simplify by striking this 2 2 is a 4. So 4 sin power 5x cos x. So slowly get over the usage of bringing the third variable so that you do it as a simple part of mental calculation. Now let us take one more input example, cosecant of x square plus 1. See, treat this x square plus 1 as a variable t, so you are differentiating cosecant t. What is cosecant t is differentiation? It is minus cosecant t cot t. So this is minus of cosecant x square plus 1 cot x square plus 1 and I have to do the dt by dx which is nothing but d by dx of x squared plus 1. So in this case differentiation of x squared is 2x, differentiation of 1 is 0. So I am bringing the answer as minus 2x cosecant of x squared plus 1 into cot of x squared plus 1. So like this, try to let us slowly use a mental calculation to perform simple chain rules. In the next video also, we will continue to see about chain rule. Please extend your support to me by subscribing to my channel Smartly Learn. You can also reach out to me through my website www.smartlylearn.in for more practice worksheets. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.